Well, hello everyone. I'm going to show you today how I'm going to take this weed eater head off of this. Uh, this is a Ryobi expanded trimmer head. I'm going to show you how to take off this standard bump head uh, that eh, could be better. It's not the greatest bump head I've ever used and convert it to one of the best weed eater heads I have ever used. Now, I don't, uh, I, I usually like bump heads and I'm not a big aftermarket person hey let's go buy some aftermarket heads but i got two of these actually and i used one and i put the other one up i never did anything with it um but i got one and i put it on the weed eater and i have loved it uh it has made changing lines so much easier and it the crazy thing is is it lasts forever the line on here seems to last 10 times the amount that normally i mean i could go through one of these you know sets of line there's three of them that you put on here they're super easy to put on but one of these just strips will last me almost as much as an entire spool of line inside of the bump head so today i'm going to show you what i'm doing to install this and i will put a link to this product um, in amazon this one's a little older because i've been using my other one and i've loved it so i don't think it looks exactly like this now when you buy it i think the package exchange a little bit but uh, pretty much the exact same product. I'll put a link to it on Amazon. I've seen it there. And, and usually you can find, you know, these at like Home Depot, Lowe's, something like that. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I put that on. All right, so the first thing I gotta do is I gotta remove this head. Now these heads aren't very hard to remove. Uh, if you know how to take this red bump head off, this red bump portion here, it actually has a backwards threaded bolt in it. So normally you would think, oh, lefty loosey, righty tidy. Well, no, that's that's opposite on this bolt here. So I'm gonna turn this to the right to get this bolt off. All right, so here's that bolt, it's off. All that's really in here is this spool mechanism. And then you have the casing for the head. So now there's just this, but anyway, so you have this. So, so now basically you've got this whole head taken off. So the next thing I need to do is I need to take this shaft bolt here off. Again, it's not, it shouldn't be on there very tight. At least mine wasn't on there very tight and I've already loosened it up a little bit, but this is a five eighths wrench. Now, you know, this may be millimeter, but hey, five, five eighths is what uh, fit. So I put a five eighths here, five eighths here, and again, you're turning backwards, not your normal way. They're loosening up and you twist it all the way off. Yes, that was easy because I already did it, but it was actually easy anyway. Um, I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to lug down on it too much. Open up this packaging and get this head installed. All right, so I've got it out of the package. If you read the package on these things, you can see they, they pretty much fit any kind of trimmer that you can buy. Uh, because they come with a lot of different pieces to fit it to your trimmer. But anyway, so now this is exposed. You can, it's probably easier to look at it that way. So there's only a few parts you need out of this to put this on the Ryobi head. So the first thing you're going to need is the washer. There's going to be a flat washer like this in there. You put that over this, okay? And then you got to make sure you get the right bolt. Now this bolt, again, these are threaded backwards on purpose. So you just have to, you know, check your bolts make sure you get the one that threads properly this one does and you can test these when you're opening the package and then if you'll notice in this head that it's already got this hex layout there so what you have to do is you actually have to drop the bolt in there and wiggle it around for a little while until it's flat it's almost like a game so like this is the first part of the of the setup there you go see how long does it take you to get that bolt nice and flat down there so Put that down in the comments if you got it first try if it took you a while i'm not really sure but you know eh, whatever so you're going to put this down on the shaft down in there and you're going to start turning it to the left so you can move this a little bit until it hand tightens because then you can just come back over here and use that same 5 8 wrench put it down here and then now you can really turn it left to get it nice and tight now this one since you're never really going to be messing with it you 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 need it snug i wouldn't say put it super tight don't try to strip out any threads but just make it snug right so then there you have it now you have this new head 
on your weed eater. Uh, that's it. That's pretty much all there is to this. Uh, I know they have a new version where now you can get it where it has the weed eater uh, attachment uh, right here, these little spindles for the weed eaters, and it's a little bit thicker, but it also lets you put in brush cutting blades. You can take out the weed eater string and you can put the brush cutter blades underneath this, and then you've got a brush cutter and a weed eater using the same head. Now that one's cool. If I didn't already have these, I probably would have bought that one, and I'll put a link to that one in the description also. But now I'm going to show you how simple this is to string. So it comes with these, you know, and this may look simple because it's already been cut, but this, it comes with these little pieces of line. You put one side in through the line, you take the other end, you put it through. Again, this one's coming out easy because it's already been bent, but now you got both pieces through there, right? You grab both pieces at the same length and you pull it through, right? If this isn't bent already, they're still going to come through and I'm going to show you one that is is not bent because it comes with a package of these to try out first uh, these are hex lines that it comes with so they're even decent pieces of, of line um, i don't know why they had to put tape on it while it's also in there but i guess who cares because it's just weed eater line take the tape off and again these ones aren't bent in half they're just you know kind of rounded again you come over here Turn the spin spindle a little bit so that you can get them in. You get these two pieces at about the same length and you just put one on each side. You push it in, see how that came through real easy? You come over here and you just pull it straight. Even if they're tangled up a little bit, that's it, see? They're pulled straight. Who cares if they're kind of wiggled or whatever? As soon as this weed eater kicks on, centrifugal force is gonna pull them straight out. And that's it, you do this one. You get the two pieces line them up turn the spindle where it's easy to push them through push them through and that's it that is as easy as this thing is but you want to know the amazing part about this is i can do my yard five times probably with just this line i don't know what it is about this weed eater head maybe it's because there's technically six lines that are cutting instead of just two but we have a pool, we have tons of fencing, we have a third of, of an acre with all kinds of landscaping and everything else. I Mowing is the easy part in our property. It's the weed eater that's, that's the hard part, weed eating all of this stuff. I can, this three strings right here will last me as much as an entire spool of this stuff will. And I don't know why. It's, I use the same line, I don't know why it's like that. I'm only assuming it's because there's six of these, but I don't know. But so what's so great about this too is, is, and, and guys don't, this isn't a paid promotion. I, no one sent me these. No one uh, said, Hey, will you review this? I just bought this with my own money, went to the store, put it on, gave it a try and said, Oh my gosh, I got a new weed eater head that I love more than anything else. Sorry about the airplanes. We seem to get those anyways. Um, so this, we have this. Then what I do is, what makes it really easy is if you don't use up all of these right off the bat, and then you just go and get your regular line, like this is hex line also, and I just come in here with some scissors, and I clip me off a lot of these. Like, I've, I'll go through and clip off 100, even though I'll probably never use it. And then I just put a rubber band on them and put them over there with my weed eater. And, you know, when I pick out my weed eater for the day to go weed eating the yard, I'll put me three more in my pocket just in case that these get down so low where I want to replace them and uh, I'll have three in my pocket to redo it. I'll never need more than that at my house. Maybe at our property if we're doing a tons of fencing maybe I'd need more but um, I, they're, they're great. I, I've never used a head better than this. So like I said I have another head. I know this one's a new one. I have another head and I mean it's taken a beating. I've used it here at, the, at the, my house. I've used it at our property and I love it. It works awesome. You know, so uh, basically you just, like I said, cut some of these lines here. Let me show you how easy it is to restring these, right? So let's say you ran these down and it's cut all the way down to this, to this length and it's no longer cutting anymore. All you do is turn this to the side and push this back through like this. I mean, they won't be that much on there. There's a lot of line on here, but you just push that back through and pull them off. They're that easy. And, the, and most of the time I get all the way down to a point where they're worn out and I just barely push them and they just 
they're just ready to come out. Because as you, you use this more, these spindles are gonna get loosened up. It doesn't fall out, even though these are kind of kind of stiff to push in right now, they get a lot easier to push in, but it's not like they come out because centrifugal force is always pulling them away from the head and keeping them in there. So anyways, I just wanted to let you guys know about the greatest head that I've ever used. Um, it looks like these even have screws where you can replace the spindles, but I mean for 20 bucks, I think it's $10 more for the one with the brush head. If any of this ever messes up, I'm just gonna buy another one, you know? Uh, maybe use this one for parts. But hands down, best weed eater head I've ever used. So if you guys uh, liked this video, or if you went out and got it and you've, you're using it or you already have these, you know, please leave a comment down below. Let other people what you think about it. Hey, maybe I'm got one and I'm, it's great and everybody else hates them. I don't know. But, um, you know, leave some comments down below. Let people know how it is. If you liked the video, please give me a thumbs up. Click the subscribe button. It's that little red button right below the video. If you're not already subscribed, it's absolutely free to subscribe. And until the next video, ladies and gentlemen, y'all take care.